So we now have user scores for the disastrous Forspoken game that Square Enix put out just recently. This game has launched to a lot of criticism. A lot of criticism because it's not a very good game. 67, very, very average. Very, very average. As you can see, on the critic side, we have 43 mixed reviews, 24 positive, 5 negative. But over on user reviews, we have 70 positive, 15 mixed, and 101 negative. Gamers don't like this game. And it doesn't let up any more on the PC version because the PC version has actually scored a lot worse at 2.4. Still only one critic review for the PC release. And over on the PC user review side, we have nine positive scores, one mixed, and 37 negative. I'm going to read through some of these in a second, but I want to show you something that's kind of funny. So you have this guy, David Scott Jaff. He is the original God of War creator, was the director of what I understand, the first three, and he created Twisted Metal. So he's made some great things, but he's decided that... The people that don't like Forspoken are a little racist. That old tired trope. Because if a game's bad, it's not it's not getting review bad because it's not a good game and it has cringe dialogue and buggy mechanics. No, it's getting review bombed because it stars a black woman, a, a digital black character. And because of that, he's saying that the reason that it's getting thrown down the well is because it starts a POC or it's just fanboys. Now I do agree to one point that there probably is some fanboy Xbox people giving it bad reviews, but not that many. That's not enough to damage the game. I think most people are just saying the game is overpriced cringe, but no, he wanted to say these statements in a tweet the other day. I'm inches from pulling the trigger on Forspoken at $70. Part of it is the good stuff I'm hearing from people who are playing it and the fact that I did enjoy the demo. The other part is that I don't want I want to buy it despite the a-holes who clearly don't like women, black people, or PlayStation. To be clear, the tropes about black folks in Forspoken are shit. They were called out over a year ago and Square did nothing, which is their right, of course. But I'm talking about the players who are being dicks for no clear reason, so I assume it's racism plus council war plus misogyny. Now, he's trying to walk that back and say that that's not what he meant. But clearly, we have the receipts. We see what he says. We know what he said. And it's funny that he's willing to give Square Enix a pass for the negative stereotypes that they have in the game. But David... Uh, just assumes gamers are being that way. Doesn't provide any receipts of anyone acting like this. Uh, wants you to provide they. He wants you to say they're not. He wants you to provide that evidence, which is of course typical uh, far leftist narrative, which he seems to be. I, I I've only started to hear a little bit about this guy, uh, but it seems like he's a major leftist and is quick to call and label people istophobic things uh, based on things other people say. Because I guarantee you. People are telling him this happened. He has not seen it for himself, which is pretty pretty damn typical in these kinds of cases. But over on Bounding Into Comics Twitter, you can see that he's calling them out. He says, hey, at Bounding Into Comics, if you gave a shit about journalism and ethics, you would have ashamed, you would be ashamed of yourself. I never said that. Did I say and imply that some of the criticism of the game is built on racism, misogyny, and console wars? Yep. To say it was driven by them and the main group majority of people who are panning the game, though, please provide, cite the evidence, or at least hire an editor who at least worked on the high school newspaper website so they can introduce you to the basics of the job. I refuse to believe that the wide dislike of Forspoken is based on anything but bigotry. Goodness, you just effing lie and don't care. Well, whatever, hoping at least a few of your readers recognize your tactics. Now, he says he doesn't say anything, but yet... They went and posted exactly what he said, word for word. Why don't you cite the evidence that there are people being racist towards the game? No, if we go and then we look at the actual user scores, and let's just go with PlayStation. We can take a look at these 
And there's nobody in here saying that the game's bad because it's got a, a black woman in it. No, they're making fun of the damn dialogue and the fact that the game plays like shit. But no, it's got to be gracious. Every time, man. These people are so damn predictable. Whoa, this game is really bad. Somehow, the writers, if there actually were any, have managed to create possibly the most irritating and unlikable character in the history of gaming. Who is incapable of uttering a single sentence without swearing constantly? She's bitter, mean, and just horrible in every way. Apparently, there is a, na a narrative, but good luck figuring out what it is, as the writing is terrible. Not even the gameplay or game world are well done. The combat and traversal feel just feel too floaty. The enemies, a lot of which are just animals in the game world, are the most generic dull creations you can imagine. Then you have numbers spelling out all over, spilling out all over the place during combat, which looks awful. Then there's the graphics, which seem to switch between reasonable looking to low res 720p and lower. As for the game, the world itself, it's just lazily designed and rather dull looking. There's just nothing very inventive about the world design. Oh, and the NPCs are all brain dead. There's literally nothing good in this game at all. Quite an achievement for Square Enix. Boy, what a racist. <laughs> you could tell this guy played the game too. This isn't review bombing. This guy actually comes in with some details. Here's some more. Whatever a few positives I can find to say about this game are swallowed up in the totality, the up in totality, the cloud of Forspoken's mediocre graphics, disturbingly bad writing, and shallow combat. An absolute disaster of a game with a particularly unlikable protagonist. Now, this also has nothing to do with the character's skin the character does swear all the time and says cringy shit. I think anybody would find this character unlikable. But I think the God of War director would say, that's racist. <laughs> this game is a pure joke. Poor, poor story, downgraded graphics from the trailers big time, a bland and boring open world, bad dialogue, and a soundtrack that's extremely annoying. The only upside is, ga is the game plays fluid and fast, and... That alone is not worth 80 euros for the standard European version. Can't even refund because of PlayStation policies. Guess the joke's on me. Hashtag Sony, I want my money. Just funny. I mean, it goes on and on. There's a lot of reviews here of people shitting on the game because it's not good. A lot of them. And nobody's complaining about the character. <laughs> this game feels like it was made by Mindy Kaling. <laughs> Didn't expect much, but still got disappointed. <laughs> I guess uh, I guess it's all racism, right, David? There's been people on Twitter saying that this is why the game's getting bad reviews too, because of uh, because of, it's got a POC as the lead. Nobody cares about that. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas wouldn't be one of the best-selling games of all time if this were the case. So I just, what a joke this is. Just accept the game's just not good. Or it's at least average at best. But I'm going to go with the users over the critics, and the users are blasting this game as, as for what it is. Shit. Anyway, in the comments, let me know what you guys think about all this. Also, if you would, please throw a like up, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Follow me on Locals so you can actually get notifications and updates on things. And check out my Rumble. Other than that, see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. 
So come check out my locals.